Welcome peeps, Connor right here and welcome to my channel Ecom Starters. If you're new, kindly hit the subscribe button or the notification bell to keep up to date for future video guys. What is a Shopify sales funnel or what is a sales funnel? Are you a Shopify store owner? Do you have a sales funnel? Well, if you don't know what a sales funnel is, that's understandable. But if you're a Shopify store owner, and you don't have a sales funnel then you're wrong you're simply not aware that there is a sales funnel in process now being aware of this sales funnel guys and understanding the different stages and how to optimize these stages within your funnel can easily and significantly simplify your business also make it more effective and increase your chance for growth and success now we're not going to dive into click funnel guys this uh, that's a bit more advanced i'm trying to keep it very basic for the newbies and also intermediaries just to understand the core concept of sales funnel so a sales funnel refers to the buying process stages or steps that a business or company lead customer through when or before purchasing a product now as you can see here guys a vivid picture of a funnel so at the top we have qualified leads which are potential customers and at the bottom of the funnel we have sales person who actually went in our store and make a purchase so the key thing with a funnel guys is to get as many person to enter the funnel at the top which will equate to more sales generated at the bottom so for example a five dollar ads generates 10 visitors per day on our store and result in two sales now if we were to increase that at to say ten dollars per day then we'd see visitors of 20 persons and then the potential sales for that day would be four sales so in essence the more persons we have at the top the better is it for us because the probability of more sales coming out at the bottom so that's in essence what our sales funnel is guys putting them at the top carrying them through the funnel and persuade them to buy now in the middle right here guys are the are steps and stages that will prompt the potential customer to buy so this slide is to basically emphasize the point made on the previous slide so the more potential customer you enter into the funnel the better your chance of getting increased sales so the key thing is in the middle guys is to basically optimize this part of the funnel to get as many sales as possible let's do a walkthrough of a basic shopify funnel so at the top of the funnel guys as mentioned we want to get as much person in the funnel as possible now this is done by creating ads guys whether it be facebook ads instagram influencer google shopping network so the key thing is to place an ad out there but the key thing also is to know how to place an effective ad how to have an optimal ad copy guys to get as much visitors or leads to your product page you then need to know how to optimize this product page in order to get the potential buyers to add the product to your cart and eventually make a sale so this is a basic funnel guys and you need to know how to optimize the different stages of the funnel in order to increase the amount of sale that is received so the first thing is create the best possible ad for your product to get as much lead as possible and at minimal cost that's that's key guys you want to your cost per click you need that you need that to be very low guys also when they land on your product page guys you need to optimize this page so that the customers will be willing you'll you'll, you'll press their button as we would normally say uh, will 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 cause them to be impulsed by you guys by adding scarcity to the page, scarcity to the page guys um we can add a social proof definitely we need to add trust badges guys so they can feel safe and so forth so this is very key guys to optimize the product page and this is one of the crucial 
most essential part about your store. Pay keen attention to this and not so much of the home the storefront or the home page guys. So optimize the product page. Now you're you're at the cart. You can optimize this as well by adding scarcity and also upsell to increase your average order of value guys. And then you generate your sales at the bottom guys. So this is the process. So you have a product, you put it in front potential buyers via ads. You need to optimize your ads guys. So that's one area you need to master. You need to know how to optimize your product page for full conversion. You know to you need to know how to optimize your add to cart. You even the color of your add to cart button can increase your conversion rate. You need to know to add scarcity to that add to cart page and also upsell to increase your art of value guys and generate sales. So in essence guys, if you if you don't optimize all these areas guys, then you, you just have a, an ineffective sales funnel. So this is a process that your customer go through as the basic funnel guys for a Shopify store owner. So you need to understand this process and know that by optimizing all these areas will increase your chance of getting as much sale as possible now this is this area is also very important lead capture guys once someone add a product to cart you actually automatically capture their email guys once they purchase you auto automatically capture their emails this is something that we we'll go into and we can also probably do a more advanced funnel where we implement email marketing in a future video guys so to reinforce the point guys here we place the ad for this nurse necklace you know generate our leads as you could see um, the ads performing good we have like six to seven um, interaction 627 interaction comments and shares so with this ad is doing good guys so you need to know how to optimize your ad to get these results also when they land on your product page you need to know how to optimize this product page in order to prompt the potential buyer to buy right away they add the cart and then they generate the sales so this, so this is just a, a, another slide to kind of reinforce the point that was made previous so optimize your ad optimize your product page in order to increase your add the carts and eventually increase your sales now we're going to go into some practical live example of how this work guys so guys, we're live on screen and just before I go any further, I just want to say guys, when we're placing an ad, the mindset that we, the marketer or the advertiser should have is that persons on Facebook are not looking to buy products. They're socializing, they're liking videos, they're liking photos, they're spying on their ex, they're posting pictures, etc. guys, they're, they're socializing. There is their leisure time guys they're not looking to buy so we the marketer the advertiser aim is to captivate their attention by our advertisement how can we interrupt their socializing process and allow them to click on our ad which will then bring them to our product page so bear that in mind guys we need to know how to stop these persons in their track in their social activities and let our advertisement stand out to them which will then lead them to click on the ad now looking at this ad guys it's a video ad i'll play the video shortly we see where it's 1.3 million views 500 shares comments a lot of over a thousand interaction guys now this is this in essence is an ad copy and also this is an advertisement based you once it's sponsored below this means it's an advertisement guys so looking at this this is an ad an ad copy guys is a video ad and you definitely want to study what this advertiser is doing because this ads with 1.3 million view is is a is an effective ad so definitely you need to study this ad copy guys so as you can see whoa have you seen this you know you're speaking to your audience this will light up your life you know nice tagline grab your ears here they have two links to their product page hurry 50% sales and soon so there you guys scarcity and urgency guys comment yes if you want this so you 
um, trying to get some interaction from your customers which Facebook likes which will help your ads overall now let's play this video nice little video they have their call to action button shop now as well so a fairly nice little video guys um it's performing well so this is something that you can study and replicate when you're doing your ads now we're going to click on the link which should bring us to their product page but before we go to the product page guys just want to notify that hey placing the ad generated need is the first part of the funnel so guys bear the funnel in mind so we're working the funnel now guys so this is the ad to generate our leads and our potential customers we then end up on the product page now on this product page guys we see they have some nice images of the product we see this pop-up social proof um, also social proof as well guys also some scarcity as well um, we see where they have trust badges trust seals to also social proof as well guys visitors right now um, free shipping as well and we see they, where they have a lengthy description which is generally needed for a higher value product guys you need to have a lengthy description to persuade someone to fork out over fifty dollars in buying a product guys so you need to make your description a bit lengthy and detailed um, stating the intricacies and the benefits of the product now if it's a free ship product then you only need a, a very short and spicy description guys so this is a fairly optimized product page guys now this is the second part of the funnel and then now if you're if you're interested in this product now guys we then go ahead and we add the cart we'll view view my cart so a, a fairly optimized product page guys so we're in the add to cart um part of the funnel now where we see we have a, a countdown timer so this is urgency guys we have trust badge our seals you know secure checkout to to assure the, um, the customer that hey no fraudulent activities or transaction are on here you're safe your payment will be safe your information will be safe i don't see where they have any um any upsell in the car guys but however this is fairly decent optimized at the card page as well that will assure the, the customer that hey everything is good and we just hit the checkout button and we make the purchase guys so in essence this is a funnel guy we place the ad we then land on the product page then we add the cart and then we make the purchase guys but it's very important to know how to create this ad guys how to optimize the add to cart page and also the product page you need to know how to captivate your potential customer once they're on the product page to then add to cart and then make the purchase guys so that's the flow of the funnel the basic shopify funnel guys so i hope you see in the bigger picture right here hey guys hope you enjoyed that video and it added value i'm basically laying the groundwork for shopify before i dive deep and dissect the business module so see you in future videos and right now i'm out